check this out. Boom. Grand view. 100 year old bike. <laughs> Pretty sketchy part of it. It's a very narrow, off camera trail facing down this massive gap. And then it's super narrow all the way up there. Ugh. On this climb, you won't have to worry that you're gonna be lonely. We'll be kept com company by at least 100 flies zooming around your face the whole time. What follows is a brief construction montage. Hey guys, this is another cycling adventure from uh, California, Los Angeles. To be specific, we're gonna be mountain biking in Big Bear. I've had some mountain biking experience in Big Bear. It was so good, I wanted to go back. And Big Bear is an amazing place and pretty much every time I fly into Los Angeles we fly straight over Big Bear Lake and it's such a really cool view and every time I fly over it I'm, I'm like I want to go there again. So the weekend after I did this Grizzly 100 mountain bike race I was flying to LA again. I took a friend with me on the trip to go mountain biking in Big Bear again and fellow guide hooked us up with a local so we would be riding with a guide all weekend we started very early in the morning with our drive to big bear and that's where the story starts what's up guys what's up cycling fanatics i'm with uh jasper okulu check this out this is one of the best views you can ever have. We're on our way to Big Bear Lake where we're gonna meet up with Derek. He is the guy in Big Bear that knows everything about riding bikes. He's gonna show us some hidden trails today. Current temperature here in Big Bear is uh, 40 degrees Fahrenheit, which is very close to freezing. <laughs> Time for a sweater. Just arrived at Derek's house. So. Hey, how Good are you? Morning, Let's man. Make some coffee. This is cold. That's the other thing I was like trying to. Uh, you it know, was. Like, it is cold. Can't go super early in the morning because it's like fucking freezing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like it's been in the 20s. Fahrenheit, you know, which we just found out below, so like cool. 10 degrees below freezing. Yeah, yeah, Jasper is a, he's a mountain bike specialist, so. So how long do we want to ride today? Uh, I don't know. What do you want to do, Jasper? Do you do four or five hours? Four or five hours? <laughs> yeah. Holy shit, okay. So I'll take you guys out and I'll show you some areas that are really super cool. Hidden trails and stuff. That's what's cool. Hidden trails, yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna take you to Bluff Lake and Siberian Creek and I'm gonna come back and do dry hump and trick or treat and a bunch of trails that cool. aren't on maps. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Go. Feel this bike. Which, uh, which? This is 17.4, so I'll <laughs> we'll figure out kilograms. Check out this. Uh, these that's deep. custom 14 karat gold. Really? Yeah, the whole thing was a project. Custom graphics, custom rough saddle, all titanium hardware with like, you know. Yeah. Ah, that's so that's they're extra light with ceramic bearings or my wheel set. The wheel set's 1,040 grams. You know, the Eagle Grupo, right? Yeah. This is the Falcon Grupo. Huh. So we do different conversions of like 946s or 944s or whatever, 11 speed with the grip shift and an elliptical. Uh. So, always interesting to meet Derek again. After him showing his super custom lightweight bike and making us some special cowboy coffee with his uh, interesting brewing method. We went out to get some breakfast. We had time because it was still super cold. So we went to this place, uh, Nottingham's, where we had some eggs benedict in a special way. And then we went to the shop. Time for bikes. All right, at the shop. Pulling out the Penny Farley straight so away. A hundred year old bike that was made in California. That's a reproduction of a, like a 200 year old bike. So. All right. So how does it work, man? What's the deal here. <laughs> <laughs> 
You're right. You're right above the yeah. The so turning weird. point of the wheel is so crazy, man. Yeah, and then the wheel's so big. It's so hard. Cool. That's another introduction into uh, into big Bear Valley bike shop. Uh, well, you've seen more of it in the previous video of the Grizzly 100. Derek is gonna set us up again with some bikes. I'm gonna ride the same bike as I did last weekend on the race so i'm familiar with the bike so that's good and they're going to set up another bike for uh, for jasper so a few moments later it's all my feet eh? in the kit ready to roll jasper uh is just testing out his bike for uh for today so i uh, go from never mountain biking to uh Riding mountain bikes two weekends in a row. I can really use some new mountain bikes and shoes, right? Derek is gonna take us on the secret trail, which are very secret. But after today, when it gets on YouTube, I'm not I'm not sure how secret they're gonna be. Well you kind of Is that a problem? Is that a problem? You can't go like if this is this trail. Okay, okay. <laughs> so we're gonna go um Go up Talmadge here and then on to Pine Knot. We're going to Pine Knot to go create Buckle Creek, Skyline, Skyline, out to basically the Bluff Lake. We're going to go on one side of Bluff Lake, around the other side of Bluff Lake, in through uh, Jimmy Lodge Pool Pine, outside Bearing Creek and back. Then we're going to go up across Toon Tan, probably maybe even hop on Park Skyline. And then we're going to drop down, dry hop, back up Plantation, down Trigger Tree, back up, and then we're going to do Power Line to Snow Forest, and then we'll figure it out from there. So, you guys understand why I'm taking a local? Because <laughs> this stuff is. Yeah. Impossible to memorize and to do by yourself. It is not, and these, a lot of these trails aren't on maps. That's exactly. It's all not on maps, secret stuff. Let's roll. Difficult. Ah. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, this is Bluff Lake Reserve. Okay. So, in the olden, olden days, when they used to come to Big Bear, they used to drive up, and these buildings here were actually a store. And they would come up Clark's grade, and they would come into Bluff Lake, and they would get resupply. And, you know, the pioneer days, you know. So a couple of the structures still exist, and then you'll see the lake over here in a minute. There's oh. all these cool little rock formations. There's a fireplace. Yeah, fireplace. And now this is more like a picnic well, area. Or... Okay. But not anymore. No, <laughs> that's obvious. <laughs> this is, uh, the Bluff Lake Reserve Wildlife Conservancy. Wow, this looks amazing. Pretty cool, huh? Whoa. My drover gets back, I'm gonna bring her up here and... <laughs> All right, so Bluff Lake. This is not the top secret part, but we'll be there later today. <laughs> one. Oh, this one. A 140 years old tree. All right, doing a lap around the oldest tree, around making a wish. as you've just seen. Right there is Keller Peak, where I was there two weeks ago on the road bike. And the view from here is really, really good. Check it out, all the way over there. What do you think of the trails? The trails are awesome. Good course. Yeah, I love it, man. Really good. We've got two velo guides today. So we got Sam, he's doing his first velo guide today and we got the old time very experienced rider right here the Hermanator himself fixing his bike good to go uh, I want to check it I need someone to pedal for me so I can shift it and see what's going happen <laughs> good I mean at least I can ride out of here at least I got a couple gears
All right, man, that was a really cool uh, secret part of the ride today. It's really noticeable that these trails are not used as much as the other trails, right? Yeah. It's really cool. Uh, Derek has to take care of some stuff, so uh, Sam's gonna take us along for the rest of the day. But we're sleeping at Derek's house, so we'll see him later today. Yep. All right? All right. Peace out. See you later. <sighs> It's nice. So after riding some of these uh, secret trails of Big Bear, yeah. which are not on the map, and you wouldn't be able to find without riding with a local, we went up to Grandview Point. That's a point that I haven't been before. Uh, the race a week before, obviously we did not have time to stop at Grandview Point and take pictures. It's right on top of the mountain ridge in Big Bear. Woo! The Skyline Trail passes it. You have to do a little, little extra climb and then you end up on this nice. amazing place with a really <laughs> awesome view. Maybe on a downhill bike? Check this out. Boom. Grand view point. So yeah, Grandview Point is a really cool spot. So we sat there for a little bit, had some rest and enjoyed the view. We were pretty much on the highest point in and around Big Bear, around 2,600 meters. So everything was downhill from that point, which was good. And Sam explained a little bit more about the, the high peaks around that you could see with the Sugarloaf Mountain, which is almost 10,000 feet. And then San Geronio Mountain was even higher. We made a little plan about what we were going to do and we decided to go through the downhill mountain bike park that uh, is in Big Bear. So normally you would take the ski lift to the top and then downhill through the park back down. But we were already at the top so we just had a couple trails to go before we got to the park.
I have respect for you, man, on the hard hill. <laughs> kind of tricky parts where you don't see where you're going. Yeah, and yeah. All the rocks. So uh, on the hard hill, it was pretty difficult, but it was fun. It was great fun, huh? Yeah, it was good fun. How was that, Sam? Oh, that was challenging. It was cool, huh? <laughs> My hands. So yeah. I'm also tired. <laughs> yeah, it's. Yeah, that was a really good idea to, to sprint back home. Great last okay. smash for the legs. Anyway, uh, the bike got cleaned by uh, the bike shop, which was awesome because we were riding the next day. Uh, we loaded up the bikes in this massive truck that we rented, which was uh, convenient. So we grabbed some food and went back to Derek's house to see where we would be sleeping that night, resting up for another right. big day of riding the next ah, day. Ah, nice! We're gonna share one bed. Oh. Oh. But it's a pretty big bed. Yeah. Can we snug up like next to each other and... You can do whatever you want. Big spoon, small spoon. Where? One eternity later. All right, man, after a shower, we feel uh, a little better, but we're so tired. Uh, just finished uploading the, the Instagram story and uh, we're chilling here in, in uh, Herman's. I, I sometimes I call you Herman, I don't know why. Derek's house watching his really big television. <laughs> but it's it's 7.30 right now and uh, we're gonna we're gonna jump in bed pretty soon. Uh, Jasper, the other Jasper, he is completely How do you feel? Tired, man. How is the jet lag? Are you tired? Yeah. He's gonna he's gonna experience the, the real deal of, of this freaking time difference and flying up and back from Amsterdam to California and back and ride your bike and try to be happy all day long. Try to be happy. <laughs> and, and excited and I mean It's echt koud, hè? Okay, this is day two of our mountain biking adventure in Big Bear. We were driving up to this pancake restaurant that we got recommended by our fellow guide, Derek. Uh, it's called Grizzly Manor and they simply have the biggest pancakes you can imagine. We had a really big day of, of riding ahead of us, so we really wanted to fill up and I thought this would really be a really cool um, addition to the full American oversized experience that, that Jasper was having with this trip. Outside it was super cold, it was still freezing. We were inside nice and warm starting on our day with this massive breakfast. We are uh, at Grizzly Manor having some breakfast. Darren recommended us to this place. It's a very interesting place. The entire wall is filled with little notes. There's stickers all over. There's all these patches from uh, fire departments and from police. And it's just endless. The entire wall is filled with this stuff. Look at the size of this pancake. Bro. Holy crap. <laughs> You're going in one amazement to another, huh? <laughs> the plan for today was to do most of the Grizzly 100 route, which was 100 kilometers and like, uh, I don't know, three and a half thousand meters of climbing, which was a lot. We had Sam that was gonna take us and it's gonna show us where to fill up our bottles and all that stuff. <laughs> it's still really cold. Those were uh, really, really big pancakes. It's still pretty chilly. So the plan is we start to ride around 8.30. Right now it's 7.30. 
In the sun it's pretty nice, but in the shade it's really cold. Peter? <laughs> We're getting ready for day two on this weekend here in Big Bear. Today um, Sam is going to take us along pretty much the entire Grizzly that I did uh, last weekend. Well, we'll do some shortcuts and a little bit different. He knows where to fill up the water bottles, which is really important. So we did some minor tweaks to the bikes, readjusted tire pressure, pretty much ready to go. Uh, Derek is not super fit, so he is coming for a little bit, only up to uh, Grandview Point, because then we're gonna descend Seven Oaks, which is sketchy, as you've seen in the Grizzly video. Rock and roll. <laughs> Bit dusty, but uh, well, I mean, that's yeah, for the rest, is uh, it's really it's, good. It's big bear, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? but it's fall, it's like really <laughs> fall weather in big bear, you know. It's cool, huh? It's fucking cool, man. Yeah, I gotta get this jersey in there just so I'm representing All right, green here we today. Go. So, we're still on this <laughs> on the Velo Guide tour right now. This is day two of the Velo Guide tour. Check this out this is the Seven Oaks Descent, and you can see the Grizzly sponsors the Seven Oaks Descent. The oh yeah, there's a sticker. Right there, sponsored by the Grizzly. This descent is really sketchy. I went down here last week yeah, in the in the race because we had to go down. So uh, it's a race, so you still try to push pace. I try to manage like the the, <coughs> the risk. But Jasper wants to go down this descent, like no matter what. So uh, today we're gonna go, go yeah. we're gonna go again. Go first. Uh, we'll let him go first, see how he likes it. <laughs> it's pretty, right? So that peak is 11,517 feet. That's a lot. Yeah. Um, higher than the summit at Mammoth. Okay. Highest peak in Southern California. Really? And there's and then the peaks next to it are 10,000. Which What's the name of the peak? San Gorgonio. Okay, yeah. There's a rumor that a couple people rode their bikes to the top of it from Big Bear one time. Oh, okay. Wow. I was one of them. <laughs> and it's a rumor? 13 hours. <laughs> one hour of stoppage time. A lot of hike a bike. Nice, nice. So we rode our bikes from my house over Sugarloaf, down in through Fish Creek, and all the way to the top of Gorgonio, and it was covered with snow. Cool. And we had to hike a bike. And coming down was fun, though, man. I rode almost everything coming off awesome. the top, but awesome. going up, we were pushing. And when you're above 10,000 feet and you're pushing, your heart feels like oh, it's yeah. going to break out of your chest, you know? I haven't been on it before we go down this. The thing is, if you go down here, you have to climb back up. So we have to do the Radford climb, which is about an hour. Clarks. About an hour. So, yeah. Pretty Radford cool. Or <laughs> it's going to be good for our training. So.
meanwhile. Okay, I just stopped for a second. Last week on the race, obviously I couldn't stop here, but this is a pretty sketchy part of the descent. You come from way up there, this very narrow little off-camera trail facing down this massive gap. And then it's super narrow all the way up there. And the view is freaking awesome. Really taking it easy today. Don't want to crash. Slowly down. Yeah, I stopped for a few, video. for a little video and a photo, but I had like one holy shit moment, but for the rest it was okay. <laughs> Yeah, I just slid out. Oh, come on.
short break at uh, Seven Oaks Village, grabbing uh, Coca-Cola, and then we're gonna do that long climb. I uh, I would say this this dude is just gonna go fly up, and then we take our own pace. He's gonna turn around the top and meet us back halfway. Sounds like a plan. A little longer than a few minutes later. On this climb up Radford, you won't have to worry that you're gonna be lonely because you're, you'll be kept com company by at least 100 flies zooming around your face the whole time. It's driving me crazy, absolutely nuts, but there's no, nothing you can do. They're there on your face the whole time. Uh, this is a tough climb. Really quick break here. Uh, two thirds of the climb, I think. Riding on this fire road. This looks relatively easy, but there's a lot of pretty tricky parts. Loose rocks, you really have to pay attention the whole time. And the view is amazing. Last week in the race, this was all covered in clouds. We're riding above the cloud base, but now super clear sky and it, you can actually see all the way through the valley, which is really, really nice. It's also really warm, a lot warmer than last week in the race. And uh, I'm going completely crazy with these flies, but uh, they're starting to go away, so that's okay. I'm thinking it's relatively easy because I'm getting a bit tired. Having a hard time to keep up with uh, other Jasper and Sam. Just to uh, give you a reference, Sam rides here pretty much every day. And uh, Jasper is a double European champion, beach racing, and he's a mountain bike uh, marathon specialist. Both of these guys are like 68 kilos, so going uphill against those dudes are, is, for me, it's a, it's a done deal. <laughs> Let's keep on going. 2,000 years later. Hey man. Oh, crap. It's really warm, huh? Yeah, it's really crappy. Oh. How far do we have left? It's like right around the corner. We're almost there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I stopped once because I fell over. And I, <laughs> I stopped another time for a picture. Yeah, it's, it's hard. It's hard, especially when it's hot, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 200 more feet elevation gain. That's 60 meters. Yeah. That's uh. Nothing. That's only uh, a drip op the glue in the plaat. Drip in the bucket. Yeah, drip in the bucket. That's right. So let's get this drip in the bucket going and. Ah. Almost there. 12 seconds later. Hey, dude. It's tough, huh? <laughs> Fucking yeah. rocks the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Almost up.
I'm so done for today. We got really tired. All of us got tired, right? Yeah. Fuck. Just super tired. Double, double crash at the end because of stupid mistakes. So uh, what is it? Uh, five hours and 24 minutes of riding time. 87 and a half kilometers. Thanks for the ride today. Yeah. See you next Enjoy time when I'm being Big Bear. I don't know when, but uh, go check him out. Sam, he's gonna turn into a velo guide. He got his first experience today and he did pretty good. Thanks a lot for the trip again. Absolutely. And having us Thank over. you guys for coming. It's always a pleasure. <laughs> and uh, it was good showing uh, the other Jasper uh, from Big Bear. Yeah, he was, he was ready to go. He's like, I wanna do Radford. I wanna do. <laughs> I want to do the big one. You got the big one. We did pretty much the entire, almost the entire. Yeah, you did. Today. That's me. Maybe I'm coming to uh, the Netherlands. Really? Yeah. Why let don't me, I come to the Netherlands? Let me know. I can be your velo guide once. Huh? Absolutely. You'll be my velo guide in the Netherlands, huh? <laughs> yeah. You said it's cold there right now. Now it is. So I should come next summer. In the summer, okay, definitely. I'll come next summer. I'll come to the Netherlands. All right. <laughs> and that concludes another amazing cycling weekend a very very fun time in big bear and it's definitely not the last time i'm going to big bear i want to thank velo guide for the support and helping me create these videos and getting me on these rides with locals anywhere in the world if you want to ride with a local you can sign up on velo guide you'll get a little discount or you can sign up as a guide and make money while you ride how awesome is that anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video drop a comment below to let me know what you think and i'm gonna see you next time see ya Dude, this car is big enough to just have a party on top of the car. I mean, you know my mountain bikes. Oh, nice catch! <laughs> <Good> Amazing. <laughs> <laughs>